Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're about to hop into the sign of Sagittarius. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Give me a second and move this said. My cup is shaking over here on top of the coaster. But let's get messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please, and thank you. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Make clear messages for our Sagittariuses. We have the Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, loving on yourself, appreciating your worth, appreciating your wealth. We have the Seven of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So lies, deception, someone trying to get away with someone. Someone could um, maybe, may not be showing their true selves. More messages for Sagittarius. Try not to give up on something and not wants. Try to pop out. Maybe try not to give up on this Empress energy. This could be you, right? Okay, so minor arcana to the major arcana. Nine of Pentacles to the the Empress. This could be someone turning into the Empress. If you're not already the Empress, I feel like it's okay. No, this is more of the vibe of you going from single to a relationship, or this is you wanting this energy, the Will of Fortune. You guys, I feel, and also Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Scorpio, and then we have the star card, Aquarius energy. So, Sag, Sag, Sag. Some things are changing. We have new beginners coming towards you. Definitely, um, I heard you eventful, but definitely fortunate in your favor. Things are becoming better. Having hope, renew hope and faith after feeling as if there was no faith. You were single for a while. Now it seems as if, you, like I said, you're going into a relationship. Someone is becoming a mother. Someone is becoming a mother. Congratulations. Um, someone may be thinking about turning you into a mother. Okay. So we have the Hermit card at the bottom of the deck. Virgo energy. Prayer, meditation, going within. This is what you've been doing. Going within. About maybe your success, victory after a battle, after being indecisive, not knowing what to do about something. But we have new beginnings here. More messages for our Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Someone's lying to themselves, though. Who's lying? What are you lying about? You being single? What are you lying about? You being uh, as successful as you are or less successful? I don't know. Knight of Wands, there you go. In and out energy. Just risky behavior or just doing what you want to do, enjoying yourself. Someone could be sitting in this page of Pentacles energy, feeling as if, or acting as if they don't have much to give. Acting as if you don't have much to give, but you have plenty. Even if you feel as if you don't have much to give, I feel like you have plenty. Just know your worth, right? But you, we, the Knight of Pentacles, you're in your worth. But the Seven of Swords. What's the deception? What is that? More messages for our um, Sagittarius, please. Let me know. Let me know what's what's going on here. Page of Wands and we have the Queen of Wands. There you go. Could be a younger Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. We have the Queen of Wands. I don't know if it, this younger Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is a slab fox. Someone trying to get away with something. Queen of Wands here. But this is you. Could be you. Whoever's pregnant isn't telling anyone. All right. Um. Oh Lord, no, I'm not saying it. I don't want to go there. Nope, not going there. Not going there. Moving on. One more card here. The magician trying to pop out, but let's see. One more card for the sign of Sagittarius before I move on to clarifying. One more, please. Just give me one. Just give me one. Someone is watching from a distance. Someone is learning some information, figuring out some things. I don't know what that is. It could be a younger, um, like I, I think I already said, a younger Leo, Sag, Aries energy that may be deceptive, lying to one, lying to you, you lying to them or something like that. We have a soulmate connection here. Also, we have the Two of Cups taking a different approach here with the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone has been hurting with the Two of Swords away from pain or how to deal with this pain and heartbreak. Okay, 
It could be a soulmate connection with um, an Aquarius. It could be renewed hope and faith in a in a connection that you that you have. All right. This Seven of Swords is bothering me. I don't know why. I don't even. Well, I know why because it's the Seven of Swords. Why is it here with all of these other nice cards? Um, Alfred lies. Could be an Alfred. Someone lying. I don't know. Someone may be lying. Someone could be lying. You you feel like you're being fed lies. Some people, someone, someone may feel as if you just want something to change when it comes down to your appearance. This could be someone being single and they're not, though. Acting single, but they're not. I need more messages. Let's move on. Clarify the nine of pentacles. The sun, the sun card, Leo energy. Peace, happiness, joy, contentment. The Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Energy cutting some things out, gaining a new perspective after maybe realizing some truth, making a decision or something like that. But with the Sun card on top of this Nine of Pentacles, someone's happy being single, someone's good being single. But are you are you truly happy with being alone? Like, I don't know. What's the difference? Clarify the Empress. <laughs> What's the Empress, please? We have the nine of the nine of wands and the three of cups. Not giving up and reconnecting. Watching from a distance. Someone may not be speaking much. It may be some immature communication going on. Um, maybe when it comes down to flirting or something like that. But someone not quite. Someone's not ready to give up on reconnecting the situation with this empress energy, divine feminine, or someone's not. You, you willing to push through and until you until you get to this celebration celebratory energy when it comes down to this new beginning you didn't give up on something and now you're celebrating because of, of a new beginning all right no more baby talk more <laughs> what's the will of fortune every time i see a nine of anything on top of that or besides not not the nine of swords like, I, if I see, like, that nine of wands on top of this uh, empress or the nine of cups, it's like someone might be pregnant. <laughs> and the nine of wands is on top of this queen of em the empress. But anyways, the emperor. The emperor is on top of the wheel of fortune. You guys just birthed a new beginnings, though. Um... The Emperor's, Emperor card, though, Divine Masculine Energy on top of the Wheel of Fortune, bringing in this change, manifesting change, fortunate changes. Um, I feel like someone's business is about to boom or something like that. The Hermit card, prayer and meditation about success and victory. So this Emperor Energy is coming in to bring some changes with their masculine, their feminine energy. Uh, I mean, I ain't judging. Emperor Energy coming in to bring some changes maybe with their feminine energy. Or someone is becoming more balanced with this energy. But let's move on. What's the star card? There you go. Renew hope and faith with you after maybe walking away. Or after thinking about walking away. Or after moving away from a situation. I don't know what it is. So leaving, leaving people, places, things that do not serve you. Taking a risk on something. To go towards your destiny. Moving on. What's the seven of swords? The four of cups. Oh, that's what this is. I'm like, it is racking my brain. Why is this seven of swords here? I see why. It's you. It's either you or someone lying to themselves about how they feel, their emotions, or sources trying to give someone an opportunity and they're either not accepting it. And this is becoming a burden. This is becoming a burden. And this person knows that this is becoming a burden because someone knows like this is a soulmate, past life connection. I don't know, whatever this is that still source universe has been calling them to do something or to um handle their business. Someone has been neglecting taking care of their business or feel as if okay wait yeah i see the five of pentacles that turn right into the ten of pentacles so it's almost as if this i don't know i don't know something that needs to be attended to in order to get you to this successful energy this end all be all um legacy empire type of energy stuff like that someone may be rejecting an opportunity that source is trying to give you in order to uh 
bring in better changes. I need more messages on that. Or this is just you rejecting something or someone because you know they they a whole lie. Anyways, moving on. Page of Wands, why is it here? We have the uh, Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Ooh. No, this is someone coming, becoming like a wife or something like that. This is beautiful because we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Empress out here. Then we have the Queen of Wands, the Boss Emperor just sitting over here like, you know what, I'm breaking in changes for you, baby. <laughs> I don't know. The Knight of Pentacles, slow motion, but for show motion, and what's the use to these brand new beginnings? Taking a leap of faith. After healing, I think I seen that three of swords somewhere in this reading or behind one of these cards, like somebody in heartbreaking. I mean, someone is in pain. So with that four of swords, I see someone is about to address the issues, go through some healing uh, phases or whatever. Clarify the Quan, the Quan, Quan, who's Quan, Queen of Wands. <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. The Six of Pentacles. Oh, you're the one. You're the one. This if this is you or someone involved. A queen of queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, very uh, fiery, passionate. Um, uh, what else am I alluring? This person is also, I don't know why I feel this energy of the body type is on fire type of energy. Like this person pay attention to their body, pay attention to what they eat and stuff like that. Anyways, they 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 um well they are they are well rested, well taken care of type of energy. They really take care of themselves. Um, whoever that's for you, what's on you dealing with? I don't know. Um, yeah, confidence, 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 confident. You're confident. They're confident. It's confidence in this situation. What's the two of cups? What is the two of cups? Oh, beautiful. So we have. Do we have all four? No. No, we don't. The Queen of Cups aren't out here. So, but I know the love is here. But someone's in their head about the love, about wish fulfillment, about will I receive the wish fulfillment here. But because this queen does not show all emotions and pouring out their love and stuff like that, um, there may just be like a, that's why the Four of Cups is on top of the Seven of Swords. Someone's unsure because it's as if the emotion said it's not really there. Someone's not really in this outpour of feelings and emotion. I'm pretty sure it's, it's there. It's there. It's here. Maybe like in more cards if I was to pull more or whatever. But because of the lack thereof to a certain extent. But this person is the Emperor. She's just not. I don't think this person is just willing to step off her throne to be super extra. Okay. I just don't see it. Anyways, um, so someone's in their head, like I said, about wish fulfillment. What's the sun card? Clarify the sun card. Someone could have been hurt in the past. I don't know. Afraid to actually build. Afraid of what they're going to possibly build. The, the tower card. So this is a sudden shift in your awareness. The way you feel. The way you think. The way you see things. And then we go towards this nine of cups energy. So there may be... Um, it may have been a way you think, the way you thought about some things that was actually bringing you some type of wish fulfillment. It was good. You were single or whatever. It helps you get through the, okay, wow. It helped you get through the single world, but this is about to be something new. Relationship-wise, <laughs> someone's awareness about to shift and realize, you know what? The single life, yeah, was fun. I, I did this, is that, and other. But the way to this, this energy here is more of being in the um, balance and, uh, interdependence and being able to compromise okay but there also could be just a sudden, a sudden shift here where someone realizes what makes them happy or there's a sudden shift and uh it brings the person more happiness um let's see what what about the emperor then we'll go back clarify the emperor please and thank you what else would you like the Sagittarius to know about the Emperor? They they found something out. They clear. The Emperor is clear headed. This is spoken out. The Emperor is clear headed. Clarify the Emperor. It just didn't fall out, okay? I don't even think I discussed this Queen of Swords on top of on top of the um, Two of Cups. Um. Right. This person is clear headed about the soulmate connection. About this connection. This person knows what they want. They could be willing to cut it out, cut it out or whatever. But I feel like this person is clear about what they want. The Seven of Wands here on top of the Emperor, creating boundaries, creating boundaries. You could. This person could. Oh, this person was blocked. 
this emperor energy was blocked or created boundaries and or, um to keep from moving forward whatever and i feel like with this being on top of the wheel of fortune these boundaries are about to fall or something like that or are these going to be healthy boundaries what's the tower card clarify the tower Ooh, death card change transformation dark night of the soul type of energy someone realized that there was the need for a change of transformation went through this transformation what's the death card scorpio energy so that's two someone could be could be a scorpio energy here but the page of cups in reverse no longer offering it's i mean offering or uh putting in energy or action into this situation towards this situation no more energy here i feel after this change after this transformation someone's following their intuition about children past life soulmate connection abundance and neglecting something that could be abundant and sources a lot is letting someone know this so yeah i'm leaving that there let's get a message from the seven the what is this the oracle of seven angels <laughs> and we're gonna get up out here message for our sagittarius is on this thread what message do you have for the sign of sagittarius What message do you have for the sign of Sagittarius, please and thank you? All right, here we go. Message for the sign of Sagittarius, please and thank you. Okay. Filling the world. So, first thing first, I feel like this first get in tune with yourself that's crazy yep in tune with oneself with the body and soul card that came out and then we have the fill in the world card here that can actually came out so body and soul at the bottom of the deck fill in the world here let's read this number 13 sensitivity to the feelings of others awareness of the whole world and a broader perception empathy overload and overwhelm empathy reminds you that you are not alone it is a beautiful it is a beautiful capacity to feel the connectivity all around you giving you a profound sense of belonging a broader experience of feel of being part of the larger whole whole excuse me that said it can be also it can also be overwhelming, especially when you don't know where the end. Oh, my goodness. I want to just read it all over. Empathy reminds you that you are not alone. It is a beautiful capacity to feel the connectivity all around you, giving you a profound sense of belonging, a broader experience of being part of the larger whole. That said, it can also be overwhelming, especially when you don't know where you end and the rest of the world begins. Now is the time to be clear about your boundaries. Wow, maybe this is for the masculine, whoever's reading this. Ask yourself those energies, whose energy you tuned into, you might find it's not even yours. If you are feeling off or drained when you're with someone, they may be siphoning your energy. In such an instance, this connection is not good for you, no matter how charismatic the person is or how attracted to them you feel do not mistake codependency for close closeness or allow your boundaries to become too porous trust your instincts and take care of you practice saying no avoid the temptation to turn off and go numb instead of being present instead be present somewhere in the middle of this feeling spectrum is where the magic is you're also being asked to to now you're also being asked now to be aware of how your words and actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. Be firm, yet kind. Keep in mind that people-pleasing will not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It just has to be balanced in order for you to access its wondrous gifts. Today, celebrate the beauty of your sensitivity and that of others. Yeah, so that's your reading. That was your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.